Greetings, greetings, greetings. It's uh, Lisa Bubari. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. Uh, for whatever reason, we came on and then we had to go off because it was becoming non responsive. So let us lie back, be back, be here, be together. Um, so we were talking about e smoking, vaping, and cigarettes. What I do through hypnotherapy is help my clients stop smoking. And how I do it is I help them by breaking the relationship with the cigarettes, breaking the relationship that they have with this a negative habit. What I like to call is it's time for us to break barriers and break through things that it's not beneficial to us, either physically, mentally, or emotionally, versus um, being breaking promises, breaking promises to ourselves that you're gonna quit, that you are going to do any of this. Um, I don't know if I am live or not, if anyone is on, if you can see me, please uh, hello adrian how are you uh seems that we got disconnected and we're back on and doesn't matter we'll be we're going back on anyhow so i was talking about how i help my clients through hypnotherapy stomp on smoking and i like to call it stomp on smoking why because it's literally choosing to stop on smoking or stop smoking instead of quit. And when we quit doing things because we have been conditioned to quit doing anything that we're not supposed to be quitters, in a way it is this negative self-talk that I'm going to quit tomorrow, I'm gonna quit next week, that most times we break our own promise. We, as they call it, fall off the wagon. Nowadays, there are so many children, even adults, that have been affected by vaping. Vaping has become a new trend, is this smooth, slick way of, they put it in their pockets and it's so small. It's even the advertising says, don't you want to have a jewel? So, but the jewel, this beautiful, classy thing of what? Of uh, poison that goes into the body, of course, because it's so slick and smooth, it's evaporated and the smoke is even not there because it looks smokeless, does not mean it does not harm us. So when my clients come in and they bring their children, their teenagers who have this vaping and they like it because it's like they just put it in their mouth, they swallow it and everyone, it's become this new trend that they sit and text and vape, yeah? Well, people are dying. They're dying of vaping. It affects them because it, the oil, it's like it's heated and it gets heated inside this little container. And it's like having caramelized sugar. And how often do you put burned sugar in your mouth? I rather you put burned sugar, caramelized sugar on your tongue instead of put this vaping inside your mouth. The effects are awful. I can open, I googled this morning and it literally shows all the effects of vaping, all the negative things. Yes all the aerosols and the nicotine, thousands and thousands. Yes, you can Google it yourself. You don't need me to show it or to say anything. But here's the thing. 
with cigarettes, it's this emotional thing. When we are sad, we used to smoke. I know all about smoking. I smoked from the time I was 12 years old. And you know the relationship of me smoking? Way before I was 12 years old, my cousin picked up a cigarette, a pack of cigarettes. He did this, and as a reward, because I used to bring it for him, take it from my mom, and bring him a pack of cigarettes that used to be delivered and shipped to my parents' home from America. You know, I'm from Iran. So when I was living there as a kid, uh, my dad used to ship Viceroy's for my mom because that's what she used to smoke. That was her brand. So, and I've said this many times, I used to steal it from my uh, mom and give it to my cousin. He would pack it. And as he would unwrap the cigarette, he would take one for him and give me one. So to me, it was a reward. I learned that as a reward. And every time I wanted to feel good and everyone else was doing, I used to pick up a cigarette when I was happy, when it was party. So I started literally smoking since I was 12 years old. At my time, everyone was smoking. Everyone used to smoke in airplanes, in movie theaters. Hey, you would go to a restaurant, everyone smoked. I remember my mom used to work for a doctor, and this is what? 25 30 years ago the doctor would have a cigarette put it out and then go and see his patient that was that era we didn't realize the impact maybe the cigarettes were not as bad i don't know but even now cigarettes have become potent vaping is worse that oil, that caramelized sugar, that nicotine, the poisons, and all the things. And who makes vaping? The tobacco industry. So in a way, the tobacco industry has this incredible thing. They even say it. You don't want to smoke? How about if I give you something more beautiful so it looks slick and you can have this? They have our children in their pocket. It might even cost more and it is, we didn't know the ramifications of we do now. All that aside, if you or someone you know is ready to stop smoking, I can help them stop smoking in just a few sessions. Yes, it is hypnosis. Hypnosis is this internal process that we go and open this file, right? Which I call it the subconscious file. And we go into, not necessarily the reason, because the reason doesn't even matter, the pattern of the smoking. And with the subconscious mind, shift the desire for wanting the cigarette or the smoke. Not when we're just sad or happy, not when we want to eat or not. I had a client who said, unless I have a cigarette, I cannot have a bowel movement. Well, that was her reason, her mindset reset that she believed, unless I don't have the cigarette, I cannot do this. Unless I don't have a cigarette, I cannot go to sleep. I cannot have fun, right? And now kids say, unless I don't have a drink or I'm not high, I cannot be social. What a thing is this? Unless I do this, I can't do this? So that's what I work with my clients. And I prove to them that, yes, you can. Here's the thing. When I used to smoke, and I've said this uh, previously, I thought I was the best. Um, I used to shoot pool, and I used to win. And I, I had this perception, unless I don't have a cigarette, that I cannot shoot pool or have a beer. I'm not more relaxed and I can't shoot pool. Well, bunch of crap, right? Because my ability, my techniques of shooting a pool 
or shooting the ball or having the stick has nothing to do with having a smoke in my mouth or having a drink. It doesn't. It does not make my target better. So vaping has nothing to do with the cigarettes either. So vaping does not help someone go to the bathroom or have a bowel movement or make you more social because it's not the same effects of a cigarette. I nix that one. So if we start nixing one at a time, then it comes to what? It's just a habit. And through hypnosis and through hypnotherapy, we break habits faster than anything else. It's not this cognitive, why are you doing this? Why, why doesn't matter? The choice matters. Choosing to become healthier, choosing to be slick in a different way. We don't have to put poison in our body in order for us to be accepted by our peers or someone else, especially when you've got something like this or this or this. It doesn't matter. Do not ruin your life to look good or be accepted by others. That's all I can say. So we help you break negative habits, not any habit, because there's exercising, there's running, there is dancing, there is swimming, there is yoga, there is mindfulness. There is so many good things you can do to yourself, to your body, and help others be as good and healthier. If you want to do it socially, by all means, yes. We all have the freedom of choice. And here's the thing. Smoking, drinking, eating is all oral gratification. And I like to call it, you can speak up instead of suppressing what you have to say. Hmm. I work with the emotion, emotional connections to what we do and how we do things to ourselves. I help you break barriers and break this negative habits and enhance who you are so that you can speak up, so that you can have better relationships with your body or the things you want, a healthier version. And hello, Claudia. Hi. Hi, Ray. Hello, Salpi. I like to have your thoughts and ideas. Uh, I'm speaking about stomp on smoking, stop smoking, stop vaping. And I'd like to know what you think. Uh, just this year, in the last few months, we've had four teenagers and one adult that have uh, died because of the complications with smoking and vaping. I think even one life is too many. I want to help our teenagers do things that it's healthier for them instead of doing things that are negative. I want them to speak up and find their voice in a healthier way than harming themselves and their body. Each life, each body, each person matters. So let's break barriers and find healthier relationships. So this relationship with smoking, I want you to pick that vaping and say, how are you helping me feel good about me? That's all you have to do, even in the privacy of your home. And it doesn't matter if you're an adult or a teenager, if you support and give money to your teens for them to vape, have them ask them this question. How are you making me feel good? 
and it doesn't matter if it is a pack of cigarettes or it's a beautiful jewel case that they're advertising it's so good to have a jewel with you really really how is that jewel helping your child feel better healthier stronger more confident that's what i work with let's peel away all this superficial things we get connected to sometimes yes we need something as a support system believe it or not i am one of those that it says i used to smoke i smoked for many years and even now sometimes when i get angry when i get so sad or when i feel anxious and i feel i i need something this internal clock this internal used to have this habit for 30 years i smoked it just kicks in and says oh, if i could just have a cigarette you know that relationship of mine with cigarette was that reward that I was given as a child and the connection I had with cigarette, it was, it's my backup, it's my sidekick, it's my reward. But if I take that reward and wait for three minutes, five minutes, and just have another dialogue of counting, swallowing saliva instead of something else and say one, two three four five i can handle this i can handle this i'm okay in the same way as we reaffirm and we reward dogs by positive affirmations by a treat and it's truly training with a treat and if we can train ourselves with a positive affirmation of breathing through this instant desire this gratification and if we can give this oral satisfaction and speak what it is that we feel or we give it something i can handle this or even have a grape if you need that sweetness put a grape in your mouth put a carrot celery and if it's this oral gratification find something that will satisfy you and it's sweet like grapes like raisins or even a piece of gum it's so much healthier than having that vape or cigarette to help you if you are i'll be more than happy to send you a 10 minute relaxation recording so you can listen and get to know what hypnosis feels like so you can relax and or if you are ready to stop smoking you can also go to my website healwithin.com and go to shop and see download purchase download the stomp on smoking stop smoking audio recording and i also have the stomp on smoking booklet so you can go through here and realize that there is exercises truly exercises for you to do and see the connection that you have with smoking and have aha moments on your own privacy and so much more that it's in here uh one of the questions what are you stuffing versus expressing right and it's the same for eating and smoking we stuff it we shut it down we suppress it 
instead of expressing. So today, being September 10, I want you to stand up for yourself. You can stomp on your last pack. You can download the recording, listen to it for 33 consecutive days and have this internal subconscious reprogramming and know not only by affirmations, but you can stop smoking instead of quitting, right? We're not quitters. You can get the book, do the exercises, or if you truly are ready to stop today, you can call me, schedule three sessions. In less than three sessions, you can become a non-smoker. I am a true believer because I have helped hundreds of my clients become non-smokers. You can even watch the testimonials on my testimony page and see even someone with cancer stopped smoking on her second session and she did not need to go through anything else. My name is Lisa Bubari. I'm here to help you because you matter. Hello, Robert. Hello, Kadia. I'm here for answering any questions. By all means, if there is anything, if there is anyone who has any questions, please send me all your questions and I answer every single one of them. Thank you for being with me on this Heal Talk Tuesday. God bless you and may the universal light be with you. Until next week. Oh, next week, I'm coming on from the most incredible place. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week at Heal Talk Tuesday. Until then, be good. <laughs>